back again. Guess what I'm making today? Today I'm making my daughter's favorite cheese. One of the easiest. When I say it's easy, it's easy. What I have here is, I think, over two cups of soaked almonds. Uh, my almonds have been soaking for about a week. But when you soak your almonds for about a week, you got to make sure that you have a change of water because it will get a little gnarly on you if you don't and you're going to say oh my god these aren't good no more and you're going to end up throwing them away uh, but another thing i'm going to stress is if you're making a nut cheese especially a raw cheese you do want to have a vitamix i'm not making money on this video guys i just own the vitamix and that's what i use to make my cheeses and i find it is the best so far of all the ones i've tried the best that for cheeses put it that way Okay, so we're going to put, there we go, we're going to put my nuts in, okay, and to this we are going to put a little bit of salt, I put not a lot, a lot, but I don't put very little either, so right now I have, let's say about maybe a teaspoon and a half of salt in my uh, with my nuts uh, I am going to add some coconut oil now some people say oh I don't want to put coconut oil why do I have to put oil you don't have to I have made my blue cheese believe it or not has no oil in it it's just done with nuts that's done with cashews and almonds uh, but because I am in a pinch, that means the holidays. Sorry for the shakies, guys. And because, let me push this aside. And because I'm in a pinch, because the holidays are just around the corner, I really do need some kind of help to get this cheese as firm as possible. Okay, but if you make it ahead of time, you don't even need uh, the coconut oil. So I am using... Uh, organic virgin there we go this is not even going to spill out it's like solid like a brick uh, I'm using organic virgin coconut oil and I'm not going to put a lot this is a cold pressed one um, I'm not going to put a lot um, but I am going to put a little bit of it for sure and it doesn't matter if it's not melted because your Vitamix is so strong that it heats it up a bit now this is gonna have your cheese is gonna have a little bit of a, that buttery taste now if you're not okay with that don't use extra virgin uh, I'd say use the um, the refined one okay so I have like about an ice cream scoop of coconut oil and this just is gonna help help us beat up and firm up for me. okay so off to the side this goes now to this I will put just a little bit of garlic you don't want it too garlicky so I have what you call a tiny clove right pop that skin up there goes my garlic okay <laughs> Okay, <laughs> perfect, Rejuvelac. Okay, so now, some people say, why are you using Rejuvelac and then you're heating up your cheese? It's not, um, you're killing the probiotics. Yes, some of my cheeses, like this one here, the probiotics is going to stay in because it's going to be a raw cheese. But my Re Rejuvelac, look at the color of it. It's an aged Rejuvelac. Now, you're going to say, how do you know? when it's aged right well when you smell it and it smells like cheese you know you've aged it right if you smell this and it smells ran rancid or <laughs> you'll know when it's back because it's just going to throw you back a little you're going to say whoa what was that but because this is it has that mm, that cheesy cheesy taste it has that cheesy uh smell i know this is a perfect rejuvenate for me and this has been aged for about a year if not more I know I'm gonna to have to make a new batch I'm gonna keep some of this it's gonna help age the one I have uh, so it's a continuous job for me it's not just a rejuvelac 
where I make it and then I add it. Yes, it does have all the benefits when you make a fresh rejuvelac, but this one not only has the benefit, but it also makes your cheese taste cheesy. <laughs> so I always end up keeping some of this when I have my new batch and then I just add to it. Okay, so I am going to add... I say about maybe halfway not even that's about a little less okay so that's about halfway and this now uh, is gonna go back into my fridge and I'm gonna blend these up till they're creamy you want it that when you touch it you don't feel any um, when you touch your uh, your paste, you don't feel any grit to it. If you feel grit to it, then you still have chunks of uh, almonds. Now, if you want to make sure you get a nice creamy and you don't have a very good blender, then I say do cashew and almonds uh, or just do cashews. But just cashews gives it a whole different taste. We want to have that uh, taste that you get when you make almonds. Okay, so. Where is the base of my machine? Okay, so here we go. We've got our machine. I'm not going to put you through that painful process, making you go deaf. Okay, so if you're using a Vitamix, you're going to need one of these. I'm just going to push this aside. It's just something that you're going to be able to pound your nuts it's going to go right into the hole here you have to make sure this is locked in really good because if it's not there we go uh you might end up going to the blade so you want to make sure this is in good and then this piece here fits right onto the top part right there i'm not sure if you can see it there you go okay so i'm gonna do this so i don't make you go deaf okay i just want to show you because it's still very nutty you can see that i don't have because i'm not measuring ingredients okay so i'm doing everything by eye and by feel so because you see that uh i put water uh sorry i put the rejuvenate halfway up the nuts uh, i don't want to put too much because then you're going to get a soggy mess and you're going to have to wait forever for it to uh, lose its uh, water uh, water content. So I'm, what I'm going to do is add just a little bit of either milk or water to this. I could even add extra rejuvenate if I want. Um, a little bit at a time because you want it to not flood your nuts. So I'm going to add a little extra rejuvenate and I am going to Pray that that's enough. If not, I will just add a little extra water a little bit at a time until I get this nice and creamy. I still need some water. Add a little bit of water. Always a little at a time, guys, so you don't over flood it. You want this to be as thick as you can get it. I need my spatula. Just to help push some of this stuff down. We're not making a smoothie. That's the thing. You want to make it that it's nice and thick. So you do need to help it out and push those nuts down to the bottom. Mm. Yum, yum. Okay, just to show you. Just that little extra water was more than enough. I just want to show you how chunky, but yet this is very, very creamy. Because that's the only way you're going to get this cheese to speed up. Because if you don't, yeah, my dog's crying. Because my daughter went to see her grandmother and he's not happy. My dog doesn't like to be, I think he's got... He does have anxieties, that I know. But I think he has abandonment issues. Uh, since the moment we brought home this little guy, basically somebody was giving him away because he wasn't perfect. Well, he's perfect to me. Okay, let me just push this aside. 
push some of these nuts down. Okay, you can see that it's getting nice and creamy. Oh yeah, this is going to be perfect. And that's going to help speed up the drying process. Otherwise, she's going to end up eating it like a cream cheese. But, you know, I do have cheese already made. I made a delicious cranberry blue, but she didn't want the blue. My daughter's not a blue. Um, she doesn't favor the blue. I favor the blue. Oh, God. That was one thing that when I became vegan, it's like, oh, my God, I can never have my blue cheese again. Well, surprise, surprise. Yes, you can. So, if you're worried about missing cheese, worry none because you can have cheese. Okay, so I am going to put... You ready, guys? It's almost done, but I am going to put... small pinch of nutmeg and a tiny pinch of clove. I'm going to pound this up again. Wasn't that easy? Oh, I'm sorry for the shakies guys. I got to get a better system here. But for now, if you want some of my recipes, you have no choice. You're going to have to get shaken around. I'm going to have to just shake you up a little. Okay. All right. Let me just put this through, and then I'm going to show you. <laughs> Mama, she's done. Okay. So we are going to put this in a nice bowl. Okay. I wish you guys can taste this. My lord. I should have put maybe in a bigger bowl. Yeah, let me get a bigger bowl. Oh my god, this is going to be so good. Oh, I get excited over this. This don't go anywhere. Okay. You're going to say, why are you putting it in two different bowls? Because I'm not finished with this. Cheese. Okay, so you see how thick that is? Yet, it's still creamy. My daughter's going to be happy. I made her taste my, my cranberry blue. And she goes, Ma, that's not the cheese I requested. I says, I know. I just couldn't get... I had to, I had to put the blue in it. All right, now don't forget, we have to ferment this cheese, right? It's got to do its magic. And I'm probably going to get all kinds of sliver marks. Well, that's not, the, that's not cheese. Cheese comes from cows or cheese comes from goats. Well, you, you say that, I say cheese comes from nuts. You know, why do we have to hurt an animal when we can make delicious food and not and not hurt it? Come on, Vitamix. Make a better... I know my sister got me one of these little spatulas that you go in. I should try and find it where I put it. Okay, I'm not going to mess around with this. I'll put the rest on later. This way you don't have to suffer watching me do it. Okay, so now to this, we're going to put just a little bit, about a teaspoon, a teaspoon of lime, a little bit of cranberry, not much. You just want to have a little, you don't want to have just cranberries, right? You just want to have a little bit of cranberry. A little extra salt. A 
I'm going to put just a little bit of my smoked salt. i got to put this in a better container. I always leave it in here so I can show you guys the salt I use. Okay, a little bit of salt, and I'm using my Malden smoke. Now, uh, because my Vitamix is so strong, my Rejuvelac pretty much probably got, you know, a little destroyed. I'm going to take one capsule of vegan probiotic and we're going to mix this in. Just one. That's all you need. Look at that. Even though I didn't add a lot of liquids, it's still wet. My dog's crying. It's so good. Hey, Jay. She's going to be home soon. She's going to be home soon, Chi Chi. Okay. She's going to be home soon, Chi Chi. Oh my God, he gets so sad. It's like we've abandoned him. Oh, my Lord. We never knew how bad he was. Um, but we noticed that every time we come home uh, in the beginning, um, he would like dive on us and he'd be jumping up you couldn't even like t calm him down or touch him but as he was jumping he would just urinate and urinate he would just like be peeing everywhere I was like oh my god what's he doing i says what's wrong with this dog oh my god jj he was just like breaking my heart and then finally you could see his heart was stopped beating because his heart was like i thought it was gonna just pop out of his chest and um then we noticed that uh, my daughter says to me, oh my, you went out, and after you went out, the dog was like crying and crying and crying that you left him alone. And I says, oh my God, but you were home with him. He goes, no, ma, he never stopped crying. And today, he's doing the same thing. He's not like continuously crying, because he only loves me more. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> my daughter, she's going to hear that. She's going to say, you're crazy, brother. Uh, but he is like sad that Erica's not here. And I just don't know what to do to console him right now. Uh, he just, he wants his sister. Okay, so this is it, guys. This is a very fresh, fresh cheese. It's not going to be a very stinky cheese like my <laughs> blue cranberry one. <laughs> but it's going to be a fresh cheese, and Erica's going to love it. So now we are going to lightly cover this, and we're going to put it in a place where it's not that it's hot, not that it's cold. It's a nice warm place where this will ferment from now until tomorrow where I'm going to shape it. Now, I might not make the video to show you how I shape it, but if you go look at some of my videos, you will go see how I shape my raw cheeses. Uh, I shape them soft like this and uh, eventually the moisture comes out and you get the best and the creamiest and the most delicious cheese you will ever put your lips on. So I'm going to say thank you. And I'm going to say I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that little bell. You're going to be notified every time I put up a video. And if you go into my description, there's those Amazon links. Even if you don't buy the products, guys. If you go through those links to do your own shopping. Whatever you want to buy. If you want to buy Q-tips. Whatever you want to buy. A tiny percentage comes towards my channel and it helps me um, make more videos for you. So I'm going to say love you and guess what? I'm going to see you soon. videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.